Hello everyone, so now let's do the another lab for the ASA firewall. I hope you remember in our previous class we done the EIGRP. We learn how we can configure the EIGRP in the ASA firewall. So now in this class we are going to learn how we can configure the OSPF. Okay, so let's do. It is very simple only. What we will do, we will use the same scenario as we done in our previous class. Same thing we are going to do now. Same thing we will do. Okay. So what we are going to do here in this one, we are going to configure the OSPF in the router and the firewall. Let me show you. So let me open the console of the R1. Okay. Let me take the console of R1, R2. Same as we do before, same thing we will do. This is a R1, this is a R2. And here let me take the R3. This is a ASA firewall. Okay, we are uh, doing the labs for ASA firewall. So we have the all router R1, R2, R3 and R4. I think EAGRP is still run, uh, running on this router. We need to remove. So anyhow, let me check. Do we have the EAGRP show IP root? I am not getting show IP protocol. So if you see, I have the RIP here. Okay, protocol RIP is working. So let me remove the RIP. No router RIP. Okay, if RIP is there, I remove that one and let me write show IP protocol. Now nothing is working. I will save. And let me check. Do we have the IP address or not? Show IP interface brief. If you see we have the IP address so no issue R1 is good. Now let me go to R2 and let me check here also show IP protocol. Show IP root we don't have show IP protocol. We have the RIP so let me remove the RIP. How we will remove we will write no router RIP. Okay I remove the RIP. Now let's check again show IP protocol. No protocol is running I will save. So R2 is also good let me do same thing for R3 show IP root. We have the static root, so let me remove. No IP root. We have 0 .0 .0, 0 0 0.0.0, 0.0.0, 0.0.0, 192.168.3.2. Okay, I remove this one. And let me write show IP root. We don't have. And let me write show IP protocol to check the protocol. We don't have any protocol or we have any protocol. Nothing, right? Nothing we have. Show IP root also we don't have show ip root nothing is there so let me save here also and in the four i will write here show ip root we have a static root let me remove no ip root zero dot that is default root this one i will remove okay now i am removing 192.168.4.2 so this one is removed now i can save and also i can write show ip root we don't have show IP protocol. We don't have. I will save. So all four router is not having anything. We will write here in the ASA firewall show root. So if you see, we don't have any routing protocol. Only we have the IP address show uh, interface IP brief. Okay. With this command, we will check. So we our interface is up. We have the IP address. So now what we need to do, we need to configure the OSPF. We need to configure the OSPF in all router and also in the ASA firewall. So what I will do, I will go in the global configuration. I will write here router OSPF one. Okay, I write like this and I need to advertise all my interface. If you see, this is my interface 1.2, 2.2, 3.2. This is my IP. This is my interface, this one and this is the IP. So we will use the network method. You can use any one. So I will use network. And then I will give the network ID 192.168.1.0. You can use inter interface method also. After that, I can give this way directly also 255.255.255.0 and area 0. This way also we can give. Okay. And same thing I will go here. I will change this from 2 dot. Okay. And then I will change. Yes, I am advertising my all interface, whatever interface I have. So this is three and one more I will go here and now I will write here four. So what I done this four interface I advertise one dot two, two dot two, three dot two, four dot two. I wrote the network ID and this one. Okay. 
we done this one if you want uh, you can use the interface method also your wish whatever you want you can use now we need to go to the router and do in the router if you want i will do in the router interface method router ospf 1 okay then interface fast ethernet 0 by 0 ip ospf 1 area 0 okay then i will do for the interface loopback 0 and then i will write here ip ospf 1 area 0 so i advertise here ospf if you want i we can check show ip root we will wait and meanwhile we can do for the second router also i will check show ip interface brief here we have the two interface i will go here in the global configuration mode i will write router ospf 1 okay and then interface fast ethernet 0 by 0 ip ospf 1 area 0 then in interface loopback 0 then again ip ospf 1 area 0 because we are using area 0 i hope you remember how we can configure the ospf from long time we done this one and also i will go in the router 3 i can check what interface i have here and i can write here router ospf 1 interface os oh, so here this is the router we are we are uh, Uh, let me check here i done the fast ethernet okay we we need to be more more careful here i have the fast e ethernet no issue here also having the fast ethernet no issue but if you see in this router i have the ethernet okay so i need to write ethernet i have ethernet so i will write ethernet 0 by 0 ip ospf ip ospf 1 area 0 then interface loopback 0 in this i can write this one okay and we can go to the router 4 and we can do here also first i will check show ip interface brief so we have the fast ethernet here so router ospf1 if you want to enable ospf we will write router ospf1 then go under that interface and configure the ospf ip ospf1 area 0 area 0 and then interface loop back 0 and do that one ip ospf 1 area 0 we done now okay we need to wait some time after that you will have the neighborship if you see you have the urgency here if you see this one now you can write show ip root show ip root you have the root you learn the root from the ospf if you see this one this one this one and also last this so now you have if you want more detail i can write show ip root and write ospf so you can see only ospf root here this all are the root we learn from the ospf if you want let me show you see here we are standing here okay we are standing here if you see we are standing here and this is the network this is different network this is different network we are learning all if you see this is this all we are learning and this is our firewall network so everything is working here everything we learn if you want to ping we can ping we can ping 1.1.1.1 that one is our only so it will work now we will ping the two so i will write here 2.2.2.2 two is also working now let me do for three so i will do 3.3.3 three is also working i will do 4.4.4 okay because if you see this all are working so i am sending the traffic from the high security level to low security level this way it is working and this way it is working this way it is working no issue okay if you want uh, if you ping from outside to inside it will not work we need to configure the policy that is acl to allow that traffic but now we are just learning how we can configure the routing protocol on the asa firewall in our coming classes we are going to learn how we can configure the acn and the policy everything now what we finish we are already learn the routing protocol we learn how we can configure the static route and dynamic we learn rip eigrp ospf so this is sufficient we can move for the next topic and we will check the other topic in our next class we are going to discuss other thing okay see you thank you 